Hey everybody, Ben here with Fly Plugins. And in this video tutorial, we're going to cover the all new transcoding feature with S3 Media Maestro 4.0. All right, let's jump in. Okay, so this is a really uh, exciting feature that we've been wanting to implement for quite some time now. We've had a lot of feature requests for this particular feature. So when you install uh, S3 Media Maestro 4.0, uh, what you're going to notice is you're going to notice a new tab here in the settings, the S3 Media Maestro settings area. It's called transcoding. Now transcoding is, is kind of the process of taking a video and you know, you can either re-encode it into a different type of video. In our case, we're only using MP4, uh, you know, uh, H.264 type videos. And, uh, but anyhow, the transcoding can also uh, re-encoded into different video resolutions and, and so forth. So what we've done is we've taken some of the more popular video resolutions that are people, people are using uh, on the internet right now to uh, teach online courses or maybe just uh, you know create videos for their membership sites and things of that nature. And, and we've, we've added those um, video resolutions into S3 Media Maestro for transcoding purposes. So uh, you'll notice on the transcoding uh, tab we've got five options here. We've got 1080p, 720p, which those two options there, 1080p and 720p are considered high definition. Uh, anything below that is, is uh, SD, what they call SD. Uh, I think it's uh, is it standard definition, I think. Um, and so we have 480p, 360p, and then we have uh, HLS, which is um, considered uh, HTTP live streaming. Um, what we've done with this, though, it's really cool because uh, it's not it's not an MP4 format. It's broken down in its chunks, so it's almost it's fed through as if it was a live stream. Now, uh, just to be clear, uh, it doesn't quite support live streaming just yet. Um, we're hoping to implement that in a future update, but for now, uh, you can transcode your current videos into an HLS format and feed them out to a video player in HLS format. So, so the purpose of this uh, transcoding uh, um, tab is so that you can set the default settings. So these are just these are just default settings. These are uh, what are going to appear in your short code builder uh, when you go to um, upload a video. Okay, so so the transcoding only happens on an upload. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save these settings, and that's all there is to it. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over to posts. And we're going to create a new post here and call this transcoding. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add an S3 Media Maestro uh, block here. And so I'm going to click CloudFront. I want to, want to serve up the video, you know, uh, with, a, with good speed. And we're going to change our default bucket because I want to upload to a different bucket. Okay. But before I upload, uh, I just want to point out, you'll notice up here in the short code builder that we have all the various video quality options selected. So you'll notice up here at the top, we have a video quality tab. Now, this is, these are all the, uh, the video qualities that we selected uh, in, the, in the default settings of S3 Media Maestro. So uh, by default, these are always going to be selected every time you create a short code, unless you change the default settings. Uh, so let's just say, for example, this video, I, I just want to upload a, a 1080p and a 720p option. So I'm going to go ahead and just select those two. Um, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to come back over to the video tab and we're going to go ahead and upload a video. So I'm going to grab a video file and I'm going to drop it right here. And you're going to notice uh, right now the video is uploading. So it's all it's doing is uploading into uh, AWS S3. Okay, then the transcoding process kicks off. So you'll notice it's transcoding the files now. Um, so, uh, and you'll notice that once once it's done transcoding, uh, it's going to highlight the video so that you can you can embed it. So, uh, what I want to point out is that you don't have to select all of the videos. You just want to select the one. Before I before I put this in though, I just I want to go and just show. Uh, real quick, what happened over here in, on the S3 side of things. So in S3, you're going to notice that we have video one, which is the original video that we uploaded. Now the transcoder transcoded this video into 1080p and 720p. So you'll notice that we've got two other options here. 
So the uh, the, the uh, video file here is um, appended with 720p and then it's appended with 1080p here as well. Um, so this is how S3 Media Maestro determines that these are transcoded files. So for example, uh, if I go back over here and I attempt to select either one of these videos, it's going to say, nope, can't select them because those are transcoded options. It knows that you're going to use those um, for the video quality option uh, that we just pointed out up here, the video quality options here. Okay, so you're not going to be able to select those anyhow. Um, the other thing to show you is that uh, when it transcodes these videos, it's using the Elastic Transcoder uh, service with AWS. Now, if we go into the uh, Elastic Transcoder uh, console here, I'm going to go ahead and do a refresh. You're going to notice that uh, we have what they call a pipeline. The pipeline is merely what uh, where you feed the job to. So we're, we're feeding it the one video and we're telling the pipeline which, uh, you know, uh, video resolutions that we want to output to. And then it sends that back over to the S3 bucket. So that's, that's what's happening in the background. Um, and all we have to do is click insert video block. And you'll notice now I've got a selector here to select the video quality. So I can select 1080p or I can select 720p. So, okay, so that concludes this video tutorial on transcoding with S3 Media Maestro 4.0. Thanks for watching.